Good to see you all here today. Everybody looks all cheery. Let me share some announcements with you. And then we'll get on into our service. Uh, the Christmas dinner is tonight. And uh, if you have contacted Belita and you plan to eat, you need to be there at 5 o'clock. Okay? And if you want to go and you're not planning to eat, about 6 o'clock would be a good time to show up. And uh, if you are not going or if you are going, we need brownies. So hopefully you remember that and uh, we we'll have the brownies that we need tonight. Now, Melinda, do you have that exact address? You will go look that up. I think it's 1967 Cloverdale. It's simple to get there. 63. 53. You sure? 1953. Okay. 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 Uh, anyway, it's easy to get there if you're going toward Boise uh, on uh, Fairview. When you get to Cloverdale, take a left and right on your right. To the left there, there's a big, huge car lot. You pass that car lot, and it's the first street to the left. Very simple, in fact. Okay? And right so... On the, right on the corner is the car boy. That's the other corner. Yeah. We're going toward, toward Boise, on Fairview. When you get to Cloverdale, you take a left. The car wash is on the right. And so the car lot's there, big car lot. They're just past this, it's the first street to the left. And it's a house back in the driveway that goes back in the place. Yes? It's 1963. 1963. I thought it was in the 60s. Okay, 1963 North over there. Okay? So, so that gives everybody the information. Now we're going to have uh, we're going to have worship. We're going to have testimonies. We're going to have an opportunity to pray for any ladies that want prayer. Uh, so it'll be uh, a good event. And so if you can make it, uh, I hope you can. Let's be in prayer for Dennis. He has uh, neck surgery tomorrow. Jerry says So uh, we need to be praying for him. Uh, Robert has surgery the 18th, gallbladder surgery. Uh, I'm trying to think who else has got any surgery. Jimmy McConnell. Jimmy, yes. Jimmy McConnell uh, has uh, lung surgery for a cancerous place in his lung. That's this week. Okay? The 10th. So uh, remember him. Mo's having surgery too. Yes, and Mo's having shoulder surgery. Uh, she can hardly do anything with her shoulder. It's so so messed up. Who else? That's enough. That's enough. Uh, so pray pray for all of those. Of course, continue always to pray for Patty and and Billy and. Uh, and Don. Yes, Don, of course. Yes. Don. And Caroline. Yes, Caroline. Thank you. Thank you. And because I don't think of these things doesn't mean I don't pray for these people. I pray for them regularly. But when I get up here and I'm trying to think of everything, it's it's really hard. Who else am I missing? Don't get into that. Yes, yeah, I'll get to that. A lot. A lot. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Help me, really, is it? Jimmy McConnell. We are sitting. Oh, yeah. yeah. Turn my hair names up. Yeah. Help me. Anybody else? Okay. All right. Uh, so, pray for all those people that are sick, having surgery, or. Uh, <coughs> Mike goes tomorrow for a follow-up on his with the doctor. He's doing good, but it's a six-month follow-up. And so we need to pray that things will be really good for him. Okay, 
And I'm scheduled to have a full medical workup. When? When they get a hold of me. I just see my GP and he wants me to have feet to hair, hairline, medical probe, prodded, push. Wow. Okay, I pray for Mike. Yeah. Okay, um, and I have some news I'd like for you to pray about that I found out, Malia and I found out this week. Uh, I've been having pain for the last two weeks, I guess, in here and around into my abdomen. And uh, it got bad enough that I went to the emergency room on Tuesday and uh, they did a CAT scan and I've got uh, that mesentery, sclerosing mesenteriitis that I had about four years ago and had to have some of my intestine taken out. Oh, no. I, I've got that back again. And um, there's, a, there's a pretty large uh, tumor or whatever the right word would be, I don't know. It's in the mesentery of my small intestine and then it's on the small intestine where they joined it back when they did surgery before. And so that they can see um, inside they don't, they can't see like they, last time they found some stuff inside that they couldn't see with the cat skin. So please pray about that. Uh, I see a surgeon Wednesday concerning that and then I see a surgeon Thursday concerning my back. So I may not have any surgery, I may have two surgeries, I may have one. I have no idea. But uh, hopefully I'll find out some things uh, Wednesday first. Okay? So let's pray about that. Anything else anybody has in that line? Okay. Here's a, a brand new coat. It's a 2X. It was Somebody gave it to Robert. It's brand new, it's too big for him, but if you would like to have it, here it is. A 2X. Looks like a really, really warm coat. Uh, lightweight and far from me. So if you want it, come get it now before somebody else gets it. Okay, he didn't give it away. Uh oh, there you go. Okay. I used to go to church, that would be good. Okay, let me share this with you. Uh, this is our end of the year report. Uh, our total income this year was $141,602.35. Okay? Um, that was about, if I remember, I didn't write it down here. That was about $31,000 less than last year. Okay? So that's sort of where you could see the talk that we had several weeks ago, me trying to explain everything and some financial changes and all. That, that's where you can see that. We had that surplus continued to give, but the money wasn't coming in. So, how much it, lower were we? Thirty-one thousand. Less. Yes. Le yeah, less than the year before. So you can see where we are with wh why all that came about. So uh, just keep that in mind and, and in prayer uh, concerning that. Now, this is good. Gifts to missions and benevolent this past year, forty-five thousand three hundred eighteen dollars. Wow. Okay. Nice. So that was really good. The, the changes we made a couple of months ago didn't drag that down at all. In fact, it was higher than last year. Uh, and the percentage of that uh, to what we brought in was 32%. Okay? And uh, if I remember right, last year, even though we had all the extra money, our percentage giving was only 29.2%. So uh, that was good. We had uh, four baptisms this year, uh, which, you know, I wish we were still having 14 and 15 like we were years ago. 
but uh, we're thankful for the four that were baptized this year and that gave us a total to date for the, the lifetime of the church 135 baptisms. So, thank you for the for this report uh, and we're thankful for it and we'll just trust uh, God in this coming year to see what he wants to do in terms of the finances as to whether or not we can uh, you know, later down the way, things pick up and we can start uh, getting some more uh, to some of those that we had to cut back on. But uh, a lot of people were concerned that we were cutting back on chrysalis, I mean on uh, Haiti, eyes wide open. <laughs> and it turned out that we, the garage sale and the special money that came in, we wound up giving more to Haiti this year than we would have if we'd just been given like a word a lot more way. So, so that was, that was a good thing. Okay, so we have Colette and company today along with Kelly. <laughs> Kelly is not part of the company yet. Oh, she, oh. No, no, what I'm meaning is this. She would have to play every Sunday to be part of the company, wouldn't she? Uh, yes, so she's so special guest. Kelly, special yes. guest star. <laughs> special guest. That's what I meant by not part of it. That's what I meant by not part of it. I just didn't say the right word. <laughs> okay, special guest Kelly. Thank you so much. Yeah. She had to come practice this morning, and and Mark was just blown over, blessed. He got he got to bring Levi. First, first outing by himself. Levi. <laughs> Just keeps getting better. <laughs> okay. Ricky's going to lead us in prayer, and then the worship team's going to come and lead us in worship. Dearly Father, we just come before you, Lord, and thank you for the blessings of this day. We thank you for loving us first. We thank you for drawing us to you. We ask, Father, that uh, the needs of this church be fulfilled. We ask that your blessings on all of us would just rise to the top. Yes, Lord. We thank you in advance for the things you will do. Yes, Lord. We thank you for the things you've done. And most of all, Lord, we thank you for being here with us. In Jesus' name, amen. 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 Yeah, thank you, Ricky. All right, guys.